Hi, welcome to my vlog. And this week, uh, this week's vlog is on some friends of mine, a couple of friends of mine who um, have fiddles sitting in their house, but they never have time to pick it up or play them, and they kind of regret not doing that. And they're spending a little bit of money on fiddles, and they're just rotting away in their closet, and they just can't find that inspiration to open the case and pick up the fiddle and start playing again. Um, a lot of people think about the fiddle as just, it's a lot of maintenance and um, uh, it takes a lot to maintain, you know, the ability to put the bow and the fiddle together. So, um, so I just wanted to share some things that uh, just kind of inspire people to pick up your fiddle. Don't be afraid, you know, don't feel like, um, oh, it's going to take too much time to get back to where I was before and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, one of the first things you can do, you know, of course, the most important thing, tune your fiddle, get it in tune. Uh, make sure you have some rosin on your bow, tighten your bow. You know, make sure everything works. You've got strings on your fiddle. Um, you've got enough hair on your bow. Because sometimes you, you put your fiddle up for a year or six months even, and the uh, bow mites, especially down here in Louisiana, will eat all the hair. So you get your, get your bow out and there's hair everywhere. I've had that happen. Um, but if everything's good, um, yeah, one of the first things you can start doing that will quickly get you back on track to playing the fiddle is just taking uh, the bow and putting it on two strings, so like the E and the A together. And instead of picking up the bow and moving from pair to pair of strings, just rock your bow. I'm going from the E and the A up bow to the D and the A down bow to the G and the D up bow and then I'm just going back and what this is doing is it's just getting my arm my bow arm um, and that muscle memory to just come back you know Then the next thing I'll do is just try to play a real simple melody to remind yourself of where those notes are. So a good, uh, a couple of, the, the two that I recommend is uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And this will work on any pair of strings. You, could, you can even start it on the open D if you want. go um, and then the next thing is just play a really simple Cajun tune uh, the ones that I recommend I think it's great is a mon vieux wagon it can even just be the first phrase just to get your rhythm back. So one of the most common rhythms that I use and you hear in a lot of old fiddling is the shuffle rhythm, which I always say, I'm happy, you're happy. And I would do this just on open strings, but pairs of strings. Then rock 
top of the D and A. <laughs> about 10 minutes um, to do, you can get back into playing the fiddle and back on track. Now, if you've never played the fiddle, if you've never touched it before, it's a little bit more intense and it takes a little bit longer, but this video has gone out to uh, friends of mine who have bought a fiddle, maybe spent uh, three months, six months to a year playing it, and then kind of put it away and don't want to don't even want to touch it again because it, it was too much trouble, it was too hard to learn. And so what this video is, is an inspirational video to tell you that you can quickly get uh, your playing back just by starting some of these examples of exercises that I just showed, okay? So good luck, stay inspired. Um, you know, I always say play the fiddle every day. If you can't play the fiddle every day, still play the fiddle. I mean, it's, it's such a great instrument, a wonderful instrument. Um, in the old days, you know, people couldn't play the fiddle every day. They had to work and they had to go and, and uh, work in the fields, grow their food and uh, things like that. So um, at the end of the day, they were very tired. They had families. They couldn't practice every day like we do now or some of us can do. Um, so, you know, think about those things. Uh, it doesn't mean if you can't play every day, it doesn't mean you should quit playing the fiddle. You know, just have fun with it and enjoy it. That's, that's the main thing. So, hope to see you out there soon and have a wonderful Festival of Cotillian weekend. Take care.